Okay, so this is sec um, fin the final question, question six, and you will get again this idea of this thing of how to prepare an income statement. I mean, again, I've, I've mentioned before that this is critical in this exam, um, how to prepare um, an income statement and being comfortable with the with what you're required to do. Um, again, you're really coming in here to look for the items. I'm going to go to the mark scheme in a second, but I want to highlight again these these ideas of, of what's going on here. Um, with the income statement, what you're really looking for, right, are I's and E's. So you you know that's not an E. You know that's kind of coming the um, the um, trade receivables or sales ledger control account. Um, that's an adjustment. So we have this adjustment, and it's if you like, it's positive this time. So it's it's actually income, right? This is actually income. So this kind of this gets added on, if you like, maybe over here because it's it's actually adding on. It's it's not an expense. We're reducing this um, allowance that we had made um, before. So really, this this is probably the sort of thing I should be doing a, a, a revision on here. So you had initially maybe once upon a time put through your um, you had done something like this expense 1200 for example and um, allowance for doubtful debt 1200 so you thought you would need 1200 this goes through in, the, in that year and it's all done and then in the, in the following year you now realize actually I'm not going to need 1200 I'm going to only need 600 so because this is all brought down of course isn't this is brought down from one period to the next so all I'll do I'll just change my pen color is that if you just realize that all you'll need is 600 well what you will then do is you will reduce um, that 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 amount of 1,200 to 600, so you do 600 here, and you come 600. That 600 is what you're seeing right here, right? This has reduced the light. So you, whatever your carry down figure, I mean, this could have been, this could have been 1,700 or whatever it is. The key point is that your new balance brought down is what you're seeing here. So this 850 is to do with this one. This 600 is to do, with, is to do with this. So this is income. Bank is an asset. This is all in the capital section. I've highlighted before that John's capital and John's current are all capital, really. So I expect to see this in the equity section. His capital and his... This is opening capital and opening current. And then stuff will happen, right? Stuff will happen. And same thing for Pat. I expect to see this in the capital sections of his, um, his statement of financial position. But that's not what they're asking for. They're asking for an income statement. So you won't touch this, you won't touch this, you won't touch this, you won't touch this. Um, this is cash, this is an asset, you won't touch this either. This is closing inventory, so you'll need this when you're taking this off your cost of goods sold. So you'll have opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory. This is something we just have to know. And then you're going to take this off, aren't you? Depreciation is an expense. This is an asset related to this, so you're not going to touch this. This is not... That you're not going to put this in your income statement, right? This is a statement of financial position thing, right? That's an expense. Um, that's a liability payable. This is an expense. That's your opening inventory that we've talked about that will come up here. Um, that's an expense. That's an asset. It's a prepayment. Those are your expenses of purchases. That's your payables and that's your revenue. So you, you chuck all those numbers in there and find your profit, right? So um, let's um, at the... Um, Oh, sorry, there's some more. And then VAT, that's a liability, so you don't do anything with that. So this is all a bit of practice that you need to make sure you're happy with. And then whatever your profit is, you split it. And they tell you, I believe, in this question, how to split this. They tell you, um, in the, they actually tell you here. It says the partners of these guys, and they share profit equally. Right? So, and like I said earlier on yesterday, that when you get this kind of thing, they just want you to split the profits. They're not going to start asking you to do appropriation again. Right, so let's just look. Let me jump to the answers. Well, that's everything going in there um, using the minus signs. So you have um, profit for the year three four zero two zero, and um, they ask you for John's share of profit or loss. So his share of profit or loss would be this three four zero two zero divided by two, and that's seventeen zero one zero. Yeah, that's what that is. And his final current account balance. You can see it means therefore. That if I go to his trial balance, sorry, if I go to the trial balance and I look for John's current account, so I can John's current account, I can see, just get my eraser, 
eraser and I can just make sure I can see what I'm oops, sorry. So John, I can see 780. So what I'm looking for now is that's John 780. I'm looking for any drawings for John and there are none here. So there are no drawings. Um, so 780, let me just come back here. Um, so I have 780, whoops, actually, I'm not here. I get 780 if I add that on 90. That's how you get that 1790 because the only thing you have in his current account right now is the set for the year. That's his profit that, that gets added on. Um, where will the current account balance appear? Of course, within the finance, it is capital, it is not a current liability, um, and that's of course wrong as well um, and um, and I think the last whoops the last bit of that question says that um, which of the following is true for a limited company um, a tax charge um, will be shown should be shown on the statement of profit and loss yes for a limited company yes that's true um, notes to the are available to third parties yeah that's true a full analysis must appear in the face of the financial position no that's not true um, but again um, if you get chapter four, um, you might see some of this. Um, but the, the the key point is that I think again, I mean, I'm going to be yes, you want of course to get as many marks as possible, and you can, and you can. But look up chapter four as you revise that, because sometimes you can't literally. These are all little notes. You can't read all of this. So sometimes you'll be able to eliminate the process of elimination and get away with it. So the notes, so the financial statements. Are always available to third parties. So limited companies always have notes that you will have a breakdown of all these things. Um, these are the things you almost have to do as we go. Um, and so do the questions in the exam kit as well relating to these and then see how you go. Okay, great. Um, then with our revision. Okay.